Hi! So, back in 2016, my second child graduated from high school and moved away to go to college, and that left an empty bedroom, and my husband was sweet enough to convert it into a closet. So her bedroom actually connects to ours. We share a wall. So he went in through the wall, made a doorway, put a door on it, and her bedroom became my walk-in closet. Um, shortly after he did that though, is when I started to put my weight back on. I had taken about a year and had dropped some weight and was feeling pretty good. And um, about that same time is when I put my weight back on and all the clothes and all the shoes that went into this new closet um, were not worn because I got too big for them. So it got to be almost an albatross. I hated walking inside this room because it held everything that I couldn't fit into or it was a reminder of just how much weight I had put on. So now that I have lost nearly 50 pounds, um, I'm getting to wear the stuff that's in here again. So this is, this is kind of like my um, non-scale victory is I get to wear what I own again and I am so excited. So I just wanted to make a video and share with you my really cool um, walk-in closet and hope you enjoy it. Just thought it would be something to, to um, entertain you while we're all self-quarantining and um, being stuck at home. So enjoy the tour of my closet. All right, so this is the closet. Um, it was a bedroom for my daughter, as I said, and we went in through the wall and um, just converted it. So these shelving units that my clothes are in are from Ikea, and I love them because we really could use all the wall space for my closet by, by um, using Ikea's different sizes that they have for the different units so and then she had had two double closets in here and we took the doors off of those and put shelves along there for all of my shoes and boots so i have not done a count in a long while but i have had as many as 140 pairs of shoes i would say i'm near 130 right now but so this is my shoe closet, which is one of the reasons I needed my very own closet because I just had so many pairs of shoes and my husband had nowhere for his stuff. So, and then um, I have little caddies up at the top shelves and that's where I put scarves and hats, baseball caps and purses and wallets. And then off to this side of the unit is where I hang belts. So I'm actually starting to wear belts again because my pants are getting too big. So that's kind of exciting for me. So I've got cardigans and jackets and sweaters. And then this is all my dresses. We took two um, chest of drawers that we got at Shopco and attached them together and that became my island and also where I put things like this drawer is for my socks. You can see I have like Marie Kondoed my socks and um, I've been sparking some joy and then these are my pajamas and then I have shorts and stuff on the other side, or fall going down. And then on this side, I have t-shirts. And all of these are t-shirts. These are longer sleeved shirts. And then t-shirts going down. And then this was a really cute table that we found on um, Facebook Marketplace. It was dark brown and we painted it white. And I got the handles from Hobby Lobby. I like that glass 
kind of art deco-y look. So we switched out the knobs and put those glass knobs on and I just love them. And then my husband gave me that bench for Christmas and then I reupholstered it with um, some of that minky like fur. So, and it's purple to go with the rest of the theme of the room. But those drawers hold my makeup and different beauty supplies and lots and lots of nail polishes. And then up at the top, um, again, I have more glass. I love that mirrored glass look. And then over here is like um, just creams and lip stuff and my brushes. And like I said, lots of nail polish. I have a thing for nails, so nail polish. And then in this one is where most of my makeup is. So that is what is in the desk. And then these are my pants and jeans that I'm finally getting to use again. And those are just sweatshirts and hoodies and some foldable sweaters and skirts. And then these are short sleeve tops and long sleeve tops. And this is my memorabilia, books that are about fashion, my different handbags and bags. And then over here I keep like workout clothes and underwear and bras and more slips and nighties. And then this is like my workout stuff, which I have not been as neat with because I'm wearing it like every day. This is my accessories shelf unit. And um, we had an earthquake in the last couple of days and my mirror was ripped off and fell down and pushed everything off the shelf. So I haven't repaired that yet. But um, it's a cute little mirror. It has, I put a light on it so when I'm standing here, I can see the jewelry because it gets kind of dark over here. So you can see yourself, you've got some good lighting as you're <laughs> getting dressed. And then when I'm done, I can shut it off. It also has a five minute timer. So if it's not shut off, I don't waste the battery. Um, this is what I've done with my earrings. I've bought some of these trays and I've got earrings and trays. So these are my gold and I have silver in here. And then this one is kind of more miscellaneous earrings. So those are the earrings. And then I've used the door that was the entry to my daughter's bedroom to hang my necklaces. I bought some of those 3M hooks that um, you can remove. They were really cute metal ones. I don't know if you can see. So I can hold multiples. They look kind of nice, I like it. Anyway, and it's easy to see everything that I have to choose when I'm getting dressed. And then I just keep my luggage here for when we go on our trips. And, um, that's pretty much it. Oh, the chair. I love the chair. It really is not a big deal, but it was one that I reupholstered and painted. I had found at like Goodwill for $5 or something, and I like it because it goes with my room now. Anyway, so this is the closet. This is where I usually um, make my movies when... I'm um, doing my my little YouTube videos, so now you know what's around when you see me in my videos. This is what the room looks like, so anyway, thanks for taking the tour. Hope everybody's doing okay as we're all kind of quarantined in our homes, and um, I'll try to get another video about how I'm doing with my weight loss post VSC surgery really soon for you guys so so thanks for taking the tour of my closet um, hope you liked it um, I just thought this would be something fun to do to take us away from what we're having to deal with right now with the self quarantining and social distancing uh, just a way to escape for five or ten minutes and see something a little different so 
I'll be back with some more videos about my VSG surgery and my weight losses. My three month update will be coming up soon. Um, the video, so and I'll, I'll tell you how I'm doing. And um, have a good life, have a good day, follow me, um, and come back and see what's going on.